Women's 400 meter freestyle and Katie, 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 and Katie in lane four, but there are two Canadians bookending lane one and lane eight. Brittany McLean, the 20 year old from Toronto, has a bronze in this meet already in the 800 meter free and from the Commonwealth Games, set a national record in those events, and that's what it's going to take in the 400 meter freestyle. She wants to get to the podium. And Katie Ledecky, already three gold medals here, recently set a world record in this very event, the 400 freestyle. At her trial, she may do it again here. Canada has a second entry in this one. Samantha Sheverton, the experienced 26-year-old, originally out of Montreal. She has been on the Olympic team and now here at the Pan Pacific Championships in the 400-meter freestyle. Big final, A final, as the swimmers refer to it. Lane number four. You got, you got experience in lane number six. You'll see there she is, the Kiwi, Lauren Boyle. Silver medal in the 800 meter freestyle just ahead of Brittany McLean and the gold medalist at the Commonwealth Games. So the Kiwis have a player in the 400 meter freestyle. In lane eight at the bottom, there you've got Samantha Sheverton way up at the top. That's Brittany McLean. But all eyes in this pool are probably on Katie Ledecky, the American who has lane number four. There's Bronte Barrett, the experienced Australian. She's in lane number two at the top next to McLean. Take your box. Earlier today in the preliminary swim, Ledecky bettered the pan pack record 40309. She has the world record of 358.86, and that was done at the trial. So the interesting point is, how does Katie Ledecky feel? We don't have the same conditions. It's not raining. We don't have the same kind of wind, but she has been spectacular in this meet so far. Well, despite all those poor, horrific conditions, she was almost broke her world record in the 800 meter freestyle on the opening night in this four-day competition so i really think i'm excited i honestly think katie ledecky can give this 400 meter freestyle a real go provided she's not tired from the other races that she's had and she was under the world record pace through 50 meters the thing is what kind of pace that she set and she's right with it now. There's the blue, and you can see at the top of the screen, Brittany McLean trying to stay within touch. Samantha Sheverton is in lane eight at the bottom of your screen. On the turn, 57-74 would be the world record split. She's just over that. And that, that blue line is what will basically be her splits. The world record split is put into the graphics based on the person that holds it. And she holds it, so she swims the exact same kind of race, and she'll be on her own pace. Way over in the far right, that's Brittany McLean. This is a very, very rich field of women 400-meter freestyles. As I said, it's going to take a best time by Brittany McLean under her 405, probably, to get to the medal podium. What kind of tactics do you have to have if you're Brittany McLean, knowing that Ledecky's going to take the race out? Now you have to race the rest of the field. Yeah, I think you ignore Ledecky. You know you're not touching her. As a matter of fact, I think all seven women are ignoring Katie Ledecky. She's so good. So Brittany wants to stay in touch with the others because she does have a good final kick. Get a great look at Katie Ledecky. She is the wunderkind right now of American swimming, just behind her world record pace, flipping at 200 meters. She's at 158.30. And Brittany McLean up at the top is in third spot. In second spot right now is a little bit of an unknown. Sierra Rumby from the United States out of Pennsylvania. She's just moved. She's training with Michael Phelps, his coach. And you know that means she's fit and ready to go. But Next. nobody else in the picture, really, other than Ledecky. Next to Rungi is Lauren Boyle of New Zealand. She's in lane six. So Brittany McLean, there she is in one. Then you've got Sierra Rungi in five and Boyle. So that could be where the silver and bronze comes from. And the interesting part is, I believe that is your four-woman race for the bronze medal and silver medal. But the problem is on the last length, this is a sixth length out of eight lengths, Brittany McLean breathes to the right, and she doesn't necessarily always look over to the other side. So she's going to have to do it blind coming home on the last length. Katie Ledecky has got about a four-body length lead on the field and opening it up. She's back very close to her world record pace. Makes the flip at 300 meters at 258.74, three-tenths of a second behind her own mark. Rungi is second, Boyle third, and it is McLean fourth. She's got, she's got a chance at the world record, all right? Katie Ledecky's going for it. Interesting strategy by her coach. She actually broke a couple of world records in June in the middle of what would have been a season. I actually think she was so good, she could have backed off during the Olympics, during her trials for this, and saved it for the Pan Pack. Watch the flip. She's now under the world record time.
If she can keep up this cadence, watch the legs. If she picks up the cadence on the legs and the arms, she's got a shot at the world record. 358.86. Over there in the far top is Brittany McLean. She's got a bit to go. She's going to get to the podium. Katie Ledecky's going after the 400 meter freestyle world record. She bettered it earlier this year. She's going to try to smash it right here in Australia. And she's done it. 37, she ripped it apart. Rungi second, Boyle in third, finishing ahead of Brittany McClain. A world record performance by Katie Ledecky. Well, that was interesting. She fell off the pace halfway through and then picked it up on the last 100. Nice big crowd here, I'm sure, giving her a little bit of a boost towards the end. But the fact that she just missed the 800 world record the other day led me to believe that she could break the 400 freestyle world record here. This is a magnificent swim by a magnificent swimmer. Katie Ledecky, only 17 years of age. This lady is going to be around for quite a while. Constant kick. A lot of the distance freestylers only have what's called a two-beat kick. She's got a consistent kick all the way through. Takes a lot of energy to do that. Notice she's breathing every single stroke, but the head doesn't move around. You take a breath, right back down. Good, consistent stroke right to the wall. Not gliding in at the finish. Looks back at the scoreboard. Yep, you've got a world record. <laughs> and celebrates with her teammate, Tierra Rungi, who was second. Six seconds behind the record holder. Bettering the world record. I guess we're not surprised on the amazing Katie. World record Rungi, the silver boil, the third. Brittany McLean, oh so close to another medal, finishing in fourth, and Samantha Sheverton in eighth.